Okay, well, good afternoon. This is Eddie Bland, Superintendent Snyder ISD. Uh, trying to keep everybody updated to where we are on the situation with COVID-19. At his noon press conference, Governor Abbott has announced that our public schools across the state of Texas will be closed through the remainder of the school year. That means from now till May 21st, 22nd, we're going to be continuing with our home learning platform, um, making the very best of the situation. I know it's not the perfect situation. It's not exactly what any of us want, but this is what we have, and we're going to make some, actually make the best of it. I've said this multiple times. Uh, I've, I've been amazed at our staff and our parents of what, what they're doing right now and our students, and that when this all we come out the other side of this, we're going to be a lot better than we were whenever we went in. We're going to learn from this. Um, we absolutely would much rather have students in the building. Uh, our teachers would prefer to be there. I think our students would, I think maybe they're learning. Our students are learning. They would prefer to be in the building too. Um, we all know that public school is more than just about the three R's, the reading, writing, and arithmetic. Actually, public school is about relationships and it's hard to maintain those strong relationships when we're in this, uh, the at-home learning platform, even though I've been uh, amazed at the way our staff is reaching out to students and our students are reaching out to staff. It is possible, it's just different. So we will continue serving our serving meals Monday through Saturday uh, at the four different locations in the, across the district. Our Wi-Fi hotspot buses will continue to be able, uh, available throughout the, the rest of the school year. We've not talked about this yet, but potentially even through the summer, depending on what uh, summer school options start to look like. Of course, I know just like uh, a lot of our staff, uh, our students still have some personal items in the building that we're going to have to uh, create some plans and schedules so that we can um, allow you into the build, allow students into the building to pick up their personal items. And while we still adhere to the CDC guidelines to uh, make sure we mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Um, to our families of, of our, uh, and community, I can't tell you how thankful, grateful we are as a school district of the flexibility you've shown and your commitment to doing what's best for our kids and our community. We know this isn't easy. Um, as difficult as it is for us as educators to operate in this environment, I can only imagine what it's like uh, to be a, a parent teacher now uh, that we're maybe learning a lot about the education process. So I, I, all I ask you is to stay committed. I uh, promise you we're doing everything we can to provide your students with the best education possible, and we need your help. And so don't give up on us. If you have a problem, please call. We will, we will provide resources. Um, the only thing we can't provide right now is substitute teachers. If you decide you needed to sub at home, I'm afraid we can't do that one, but we will at least listen to you, uh, and we'll try to make sure that we get you everything you need. To our graduating class of 2020, I, I'm sorry. I, I wish there was something that I could tell you that was uh, uh, enlightening and yay, we're go things are going to go back to the what we call normal. Um, I I can't. Um, you know, spring is for seniors is usually a, a lot of exciting things happening uh, towards the end of the spring semester as you're uh, reaching that culmination of your whole public school career. Those last few months are always, there's a lot of exciting, exciting events. We know you're missing out on a lot of those traditional moments that will be memories forever. I, I The reality is we are creating some memories here that are going to last forever. Uh, we, um, you know, I, I I just, I don't know how to say it other than this is what it is, and we're going to do everything we can to provide some um, opportunities to celebrate that, uh, and hopefully we'll be successful enough at it that when you're at your 10, 20, 30-year class reunions, and those aren't that far away, I promise, um, it'll be something you'll talk about, and you'll, you'll have some happy memories about, wow, do you remember that year uh, when we were seniors? Um, to all of our students, we miss you. I mean, I, I and I know just from seeing, uh, uh, talking to teachers and the interactions they're having with their students, uh, you miss us too. You may not want to admit it publicly, but we know that you're miss you're missing us. Uh, we know we're missing out on class parties and field days and field trips and fun days uh, that we get towards the end of the year. 
I, I'm sorry. We, I, I'm not going to tell you that, that we have a, there's, there's not a great plan for how we're going to make this up. Um, I just, if you'll hang in there and we'll probably, maybe we'll have some virtual class parties. Uh, I, I don't know how we can share virtual cupcakes, but we can maybe try, try something like that. Uh, I, I know our staff is uh, very creative and as they're going to be coming up with all kinds of ways to try to bring the year to an end where that it's a, a fun process for all of us. To our staff, I just listen. You, you guys amaze me every day. We we've had so many com, uh, conversations within the administration building about um, the incredible work you're doing, and to just literally change course in the middle of the night almost to go to a different. Uh, instructional platform and how you've embraced it and just ran with it has been, uh, I, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know another word other than amazing. Uh, it, it, it really has been, but we can't thank you enough. Um, I mean, you've, you've shown, uh, unbelievable creativity and, you know, um, that is that old saying, uh, necessity is the, the mother of invention. Uh, and we got put in a position that necessitated that we do some things completely different. And you guys have invented and created ways to address that that have just been um, unbelievable. So thank you. As we go through the rest of the school year, we, we just encourage you to stay connected with the district from whether it's through our Facebook, through our app, through our website, uh, your Google Classrooms, emails, Dojo, class tag, all of those. I mean, we're, we're using that to stay connected. Uh, and if you have questions, you can always dial our number, our main number, 574-8900. Uh, and you're going to hear the very pleasant voice of Kathy Boyd, and she will uh, get your call to where it needs to go. And if there's not somebody there immediately, we will be responding. Um, you know, just I actually to I want to say thank you again for everything you're doing. I wish I had a different message to give you right now, um, but I've there's been a lot happening in Snyder ISD this year, and we've said a, multiple times uh, with adversity comes opportunity for success. And man, if we we've been pre presented with an unbelievable opportunity to show how successful we can be. So uh, thank you. Uh, please don't hesitate to con uh, contact us with questions, concerns, and stay corona-free.